we usually think of an amplifier as something that receives an input voltage and produces a higher amplitude output voltage. However, an important variation on this basic amplification scheme involves conversion from current to voltage. In this video, we'll study an op-amp based current to voltage converter, also known as a trans impedance amplifier, shown here in its most basic form. This widely used circuit is a simple and effective means of converting the output of a current source into a typical voltage signal. To simplify the analysis, we assume that the two input terminals are at the same voltage through a virtual short and that no current flows into the op amp's inputs. This means that one side of the feedback resistor is at virtual ground and the other side is connected to V out and all input current flows through the feedback resistor. Now all we need is Ohm's law to tell us that the magnitude of the output voltage is equal to the input current times the feedback resistance, or V out equals negative IN times RF. The negative sign in this equation is an important detail. The right hand terminal of the resistor is at a lower potential than the left hand terminal, and since the left hand terminal is at virtual ground, the output voltage will be negative. You can also use a simple resistor as a current to voltage converter, but the trans impedance amplifier offers superior impedance characteristics. With an ordinary resistor, input impedance is equal to resistance, and therefore very high gain corresponds to very high input impedance. But if we connect a load in parallel with this current to voltage resistor, we effectively have two resistors in parallel, and the gain becomes the equivalent resistance. Thus, if we use a large resistor to achieve high gain, and then connect a much smaller load resistance, the gain decreases dramatically. For the trans impedance amplifier, the inverting input terminal is connected to ground through the virtual short and the input impedance here is essentially zero, even when we use a very large feedback resistance in order to achieve a very high gain. And the output impedance is very low, as we expect from any op-amp circuit. Op-amp based trans impedance amplifiers are frequently used to amplify current signals generated by photodiodes. These implementations are susceptible to oscillation problems caused by the photodiode's junction capacitance which capacitance is shown here where the photodiode has been replaced by an equivalent circuit. Fixing this instability is actually quite simple, as we just need to add a compensation capacitor in parallel with the feedback resistance. For more details on using an op-amp as a current-to-voltage converter, check out the link in the description, or visit allaboutcircuits.com.